In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of inverse of a matrix and we know how to calculate inverse, it is with the help of the knowledge of adjoint and the determinants. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started with this question which was asked in the year of 1994 and 2000 as well, 2007 as well for CBSC examination. Now the question is show that this matrix A satisfies this given equation and hence you have to find A inverse. Afterwards you have to find A inverse. First task is what? First task is to know and to show that this equation is being satisfied by this matrix. Now remember we started in our junior classes the concept of polynomials and the equations. If I used to say that x square minus 4 equal to 0, I used to say that my x is equal to 2 and minus 2 satisfy these equations. Satisfying an equation means that the value that you put in that equation, that means if you put 2 in this equation, 2 square minus 4 is 0. It should prove it yes, it is 0. That is the meaning of satisfaction of any equation by a value. If I say x minus 3 is equal to 0 is a linear equation, which value of x satisfies it? I know that x is equal to 3 satisfies it. So in this question also you have to prove this matrix satisfies this equation. So that means you have to put this matrix in this equation and check whether it is equal to 0 or not. That is what we are going to see. So let's start with the solution in case of this matrix. The equation will be satisfied when matrix if you put gives me the zero answer. I have x square minus 6x plus 17. x square means here the matrix behaves as your variable. So basically I will be calculating a square minus 6a plus 17. I repeat it should be a square minus 6a plus 17. Now we know that a matrix will be always added with a matrix only. A square, yes it is a matrix. 6A, yes it is a matrix. But 17 is only a number. You cannot add it like that. Let's multiply 17 by 1. And if 1, then again 1 is a number. What in the case of study of matrices is basically 1? We know that 1 is nothing but your identity matrix. So in this way we have changed the question according to our need. Now identity matrix which order to take? I know the question is about 2 by 2. So let's take I2. This is the equation we need to solve and check whether it's being satisfied. Now what is A square? How to compute A square? A square means multiply the given matrix which is known as the A matrix 2 times. So it is 2 minus 3, 3, 4. This is A square. Now, first row, first column, then first row, second column, second row, first column, second row, second column. So what is it? It is 2, 2 za is 4, 3, 3 za is 9, 4 minus 9 is minus 5. Calculation can be done by you. Then first row, second column. So 2, 3 za is 6. Here it is minus, so it is minus 6. 3, 4 za is 12, again it is minus, so minus 6 minus 12 is minus 18. Second row, first column. This is your second row, this is your first column, right? 3, 2 za is 6, 4, 3 za is 12. 6 plus 12 is plus 18. Next, second row, second column. 3, 3 za is 9, but it is of minus sign. Take into consideration minus 9. 4, 4 za is 16. 16 minus 9 is what? It is 7. So this is the value that has come out for a square. Next task is to find out 6a. Very simple to find out 6a. You just need to multiply the given matrix by 6. Let's directly write the answer. So as to save time and space. 6 into 2 is 12. 6 into 3 is 18. So it is 12 and minus 18. Then 6 into 3 is 18. 6 into 4 is 24. So it is 18 and 24. I again repeat 6 into a means 6 into every element of the given matrix. So 6 into 4 is the 24, that is the last entry that we've got. Let's write it clearly, it is 24. Now, when this matrix is done for 6a, what about 17i2? Even that is easy to compute. 17i2 means 17, 
multiplied by the identity matrix. What is identity matrix? 1, 0, 0, 1. So 17 multiplied by 1, 0, 0, 1. What is the answer that we can get? We can multiply every element by 17. So it basically is 17, 1's are 17, 17, 0's zero are 0, 17, 0's zero are 0, 17, 1's are 17. So this is what we have got. Now we have actually found out every value that has to be put in this equation. Let's now put the value in the equation and simply solve it and get it equal to 0. See, this is a square, then we have minus 6a, then we have 17i2 in plus. Let's write these all together. We have a square, this is the equation, let's put the values. a square is this, let's copy it, minus 5, minus 18, 18 and 7. Then is minus 6a. This was 6a. But I need to put minus 6a. So minus outside and what is 6a? Let's write it down. It is 12 minus 18. It is 12 minus 18. Next what you have is 18, 24. So it is 18, 24. Then is what? Then is plus 17i2. 17i2 is this. So just write plus 17, 0, 0, 17. Now, just find out the value. See, what is minus 5 minus 12? Minus 5 minus 12 is minus 17. Minus 17 plus 17 is 0. So that is why I have this as 0. Everything is added up. Added up by position by position. Minus 18 plus 18 is again 0. 0 plus 0 is again 0. Next is what? 18 minus 18 which is 0. 0 plus 0 again 0. Last but not the least, 7 minus 24 plus 17. Now you know what is 7 minus 24? It is minus 17. Minus 17 plus 17 is again 0. So basically when I put the value of the matrix in this equation, I got 0 matrix or I got simply 0. So yes, it is proved that this equation is being satisfied. But my question doesn't stop here. I have to find out A inverse. Now what is the equation that I was talking about? It was a square minus 6a plus 17i2 is equal to 0. You see this equation, I wrote it here. If I need to find out a inverse, I need to make some changes. Make some changes in this equation which says it as equal to 0. And when I actually pre-multiply this equation by a inverse, what happens that I have to see. What I am doing is, I am solving the second part of this question. For that, I am multiplying or pre-multiplying by A inverse. Pre-multiplying means before you have to multiply and then you have to solve. So, A inverse multiplied by A square. It is A inverse multiplied by A square. A square means A multiplied by A. I can write this way. Plus or minus. It is minus. 6 is there and A, A inverse both are there. So it is basically A inverse multiplied by 6A because pre-multiplying means beforehand you multiply. Then plus A inverse multiplied by 17I2 and that is equal to 0. Now when I have A inverse into A by the property I can say this is equal to I and I is nothing but like 1 in mathematics. 1 into something is that thing so it is A only. Next is what? Minus 6 is a number or a constant. Take it outside. When you take it outside, you are left with A inverse and A. Now already we know A inverse multiplied by A is I. So it is 6 into I that you get. Next you come to plus. 17 is again a number. Take it outside. 17 taken outside, you are left with A into I2. Now, I2 is just like 1 in mathematics. A into 1 is A only. So, you simply write here A only. And in fact, it is not A. It is A inverse. So, you have to write A inverse. And that is equal to 0. Now, this is a new equation that we have got. Why have we found out this equation? Simply because I know I have to find out A inverse. Now, I have A inverse at least. Now, what is A inverse? How to find it out? 17A inverse is equal to 6I minus A. It is simply a mathematical equation. This thing is not going to be shifted that side, so it will remain here. The other things will be getting changed in sign. A becomes minus A, minus 6i becomes plus 6i. This 17 is being multiplied. 
to the other side it becomes divide because you need only a inverse and not 17 a inverse so let's make it divide so it is basically what it comes out to be equal to something like this this is the value of a inverse and now most of you would have understood what we are going to do we are going to put the values and get the answer so let's write what is a inverse it is equal to 1 by 17 because the 17 is coming in division into 6i what is 6i i know that 6 0 0 6 will be 6i because 1 0 0 1 is i multiplied by 6 so it is a bracket and it is 6 0 0 6 is the 6 i value then minus a now what is a a is given to me 2 minus 3 3 4 so minus 2 minus 3 3 4 right now I have something called as this in the bracket let's just solve it 1 by 17 remains outside no issues no worries 1 by 17 outside inside is what 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 is 4 next 0 minus minus 3 see minus minus is plus 0 plus 3 is 3 next 0 minus 3 is minus 3 last but not the least 6 minus 4 is 2 so this is your answer which says that I needed to find A inverse, A inverse is this value and yes I prove that this equation is being satisfied, the given equation is being satisfied by my given matrix.